Hey guys! Today I'm back and I'm going to be doing a review on Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. There will be spoilers in this video, uh, just letting you know, and I'll let you know when they come up. But I'll start off with this book, and I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I definitely enjoyed it and I really, really love this book. It was very summery, so I'm very glad I finished it and read it before summer officially ended, but I guess I read it just in time. I was very close to not reading this book because I picked it up and I read it, but the chapters were kind of long. Long chapters kind of make me not want to read a book. I don't know, it's really weird, but the chapters were long and I didn't feel like reading it, but I decided to keep going and I'm really glad I did because Since You've Been Gone was definitely a really great read. If you don't know what Since You've Been Gone is about, I kind of mentioned it in my September TBR, but that's fine if you haven't watched it. It's basically about a girl named Emily and her best friend Sloane has disappeared, so when she has disappeared she leaves her a list of things to do and she is able to complete this list with the help of her friends that she meets over the summer, which is a boy named Frank who goes to her school but she's not really close with, and some other friends she gets to bond with. So that was a summary, and my thoughts on this book is that it was really, really great. It was definitely awesome summer read. It was perfect. Like, if you want to read this over the summer, it's really perfect because you just get that vibe of summer and just being free and doing whatever you want. Now, I guess this is some kind of spoilery, so if you don't really mind getting spoiled or you have already read the book, you'll know what I'm talking about, but there are a couple things that I really liked about since you've been gone is that the playlist the playlists were super awesome and I noticed there was a lot of songs I liked on there so that's what I really really liked about this book and the different playlists that were in the book I also loved how Sloane was she seemed kind of sketchy at first but I really really liked her because she's just that friend that's really adventurous and really like very free and she's really cool and I'd love to have her as a friend I really enjoyed um, Frank, Emily, Dawn, and Collins all together. They were really a good group of friends and they were very entertaining and I loved reading about them and their adventures that they went on. Also, I loved how the running aspect in this book is kind of strong because Emily is a runner and I am also a runner so I was able to connect with her a lot throughout the book and this book kind of motivated me to get into shape and start running again because I'm doing cross country and as you know cross country is a bit intimidating because you have to run for a very long time and so that kind of motivated me to start running and running long distances and it kind of helped me get back into the mood of running again for cross country. I also loved Emily's character development. She started off as a really shy person and throughout the summer she just grew into uh, somebody that's really, she kind of defeated her fear. She got a taste of what it was like to do things she doesn't normally do out of her comfort zone and I really liked the aspect of that book and how the list wasn't just about like doing things. It was kind of like learning about herself and learning to get out of her comfort zone and do things she wouldn't normally do and I like how as the book went on she didn't really need to like think about it. She's like, I should just do this even though I normally wouldn't. I also really enjoyed the part in the wedding and then after that when they went skinny dipping that was pretty funny and just all the things on the list that Emily does really remind me of summer make me wish I was still in summer and I'd probably do those things too because they sound really really fun and if you're bored it'd be something you'd want to do and you'd have something to do over the summer. This book kind of reminds me of Paper Towns in the aspect that um, the best friend or the friend has gone missing and there's some kind of coming of age story but it's completely different but I think if you enjoyed Paper Towns you'd probably like Since You've Been Gone like 10 times more. So I really enjoyed this also because it reminded me of it and I really like Paper Towns and that was really good. I also like how the relationship between Frank and Emily wasn't rushed. So usually in YA fiction romance books there is a boy and girl who meet and then like a week later they're completely fallen head over heels for each other and I think that's kind of unrealistic let's be honest. So I like how uh, Morgan Matson kind of builds it up kind of so it sounds really realistic that somebody would fall in love over the course of the summer rather than just one week. And I'm really glad she didn't put it as a main focus because I like romance but I don't like it when it's in the way of things. When it's like in the main focus I like how it's more about Emily and finding herself and learning more about herself and just 
the whole course of the summer rather than focusing on some boy. I was also wondering the whole time where Slow Man was, and so when I figured out where she was and what had, I, what had happened, I was kind of sad, and that was really, really sad moment. It was a really sad moment when we figured out where Slow Man was and what had happened to her, and I didn't really expect that to happen. I thought she had just gone for like, I thought she just ran off or something, gone somewhere, I don't really know, but I didn't expect that, but I guess it... It was interesting and I really liked how Emily wrote her list as well, so that was a plus. This book, Since You've Been Gone, reminds me of the song by Kelly Clarkson, so whenever I see this book I think of that song every time. So those were the main things that I really enjoyed about Since You've Been Gone. I definitely think it's a great read. It doesn't really matter if you don't know what it's about because it's still a great story even if you just dive into it unknowingly. It's really good, I really enjoyed it, and I definitely recommend it. Um, I think probably the best time is to read it in the summertime or in the spring because if you read it in the fall or winter, it doesn't really... I guess you'll still enjoy it, but you won't get that vibe of summer, like if you read winter books in the winter, and vice versa. Since You've Been Gone is pretty much an A plus on my list, and I definitely recommend it to anyone and everyone. It was super awesome, and just everything that happens in the book is perfect, and I really enjoyed this one. So I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. This book also reminds me of the song by Cl Kelly Clarkson. This book reminds me of the song by Cl Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> and I've been waiting for like about a year to get my hands on this book. That book, Lair of Dreams by Libra Bray. Oh my gosh, the diviners.